There's a time and a place to be a villain. Sometimes they need to have a Joker only because they've got Batman. Sometimes you kill five people in small town Illinois because your job is like a hand job from an old fat lady with calluses. But sometimes you get married and you think you've got it made in the shade and then four years come and your wife's a fat bitch. And your divorce is, to be honest, a bit of a blur where in hindsight you should not have emailed the judge a picture of her captioned proof of whore. This was just as bad as losing that shitty Italian place I would get my Alfredo from after work, Le Pit Guido. If I would have known that my wife had any inkling to take off for Indiana, I'd have cut the phone cable, waited till she was asleep, barred the doors and windows, and burned all the evidence of the thought. It doesn't even matter though, because according to a court of law, my wife can go out and bang beach boys, but I can't see my kids outside of certain weekends because I am a flag risk. This is the Cowman's Country Slaughter House. Country Slaughter House. Country Slaughter House. Moo! A show to set you straight, where I am the law. This show will pick up the ball, run it to the end zone, and then deflate it. Safe spaces have wanted posters of me, and I'm wanted. Wanted. Dead or alive, that is. An anthem of the Country Slaughter House by none other than the Bon Jovi. Picture this. The year is exactly a year before today. Or at least... It feels like a year, but maybe less than that, more like a week before today. But anyways, it brings me way back to 1974, and I'm just beginning to realize my greatness. I'm listening to uh, Credence Clearwater Revival, of course, and I know my destiny is to take over the radio waves that line the freeways of America. That was then. And now, I'm listening to a new band that has changed my life from Emmett, Idaho, The Fallen Idols, with their song, Nail My Pain to a Cross and Then Drink Some Whiskey. me think of the days when Pop, aka Piece of Poopy, calls himself that, and I would go to war against Harry Longface, and it inspires me to drink more. This is the kind of amazing artistry that the Grammys go out of their way to take from me and everyone else. If I wanted to hear the latest 12 year old sing about her boyfriend, I would just go ahead and be a pedophile. Which is something that I couldn't even be because I hate all kids except my own, who go out of their way to never speak to me. You know, they told me, you're never gonna get any more. You know, you're never gonna go to college. You know, your time's up, you're 34. What, you're gonna just all of a sudden jump up out of nowhere with two kids, two grandkids, and go to college? In the middle of uh, southern Idaho? <laughs> no way. I mean, that was never the plan. Until one day I got home and I had an email from Trump University. Number one. Do you distrust your government? Are you afraid to post your personal information on Craigslist? 
Well, tape your camera lens and bury your phone in the sand because we are about to go into the most compelling conspiracies around. We're going to kick things off into the dark web as we look into Amazon, namely forced abortions. Look at this picture of an Amazon airplane. It's huge. Now look at this picture of an abortion clinic. Now look at this picture of Amazon's corporate headquarters. Now, I get where Bezos is going with this, but honestly, he doesn't know what he's doing. If there's one thing he's going to know soon, though, is that when you get married, it's all in the dark. So don't sweat those dog pics. It's the only time she'll see your penis once the dotted line has been invaded. Now, I want you all to look outside your window or anywhere near you as you listen to this. In every block, on every street. In every town, in every state, there are white vans. These white vans only show up in neighborhoods where hipster kids buy weed from washed out college dropouts who just want to be weed dealers to fit an image and also pitch their favorite hobbies onto you and you have to say you're into whatever it is because you don't have anyone else to buy from. Anyways, these white vans, owned by the government, are sent into the neighborhoods as markers for when the armed forces take over. First the weed is seized, and then the resistance crumbles. This next one's easy for those of us who have seen the born identity. Aliens. They're everywhere, but here's a compelling photo of one taken by yours truly. It was taken at an Arby's. 4844, no way to get a better picture than this. We proved it, right here on the Country Slaughterhouse. Oh yeah! Hello, I'm Cowboy, and I want you to come on down to Cowboy Motors, where every car you buy, we will give you a free gun and a child to leave that gun out for. So come on down to Cowboy Motors, where our motto is, what would Jesus do to sell you a car? This next segment is our questions for the show. All for fans, wanting to know how to get oiled up like a lizard, and how to stay veiny. Our first question comes from Kelsey Berg, who wants to know, Is Cowman something that you thought for some reason would be a cool name, or was it from a book or something? First off, I'm not such a nerd so as to read a book for an awesome name. Cowman represents not only my family name, it represents a part of me that is a man, and the part of me with a huge dick. And that is where I got my cool as hell name. This second question is from Butch Kutchman. He wants to know, why is this show just so gosh dang American, and why is your brother, whom you love very much but is a pain in your craw, doing so well only because of you and your success? Well, Mr. Kutchman, it's always great to hear from you. Great to meet you that one time, and I hope the PTSD gets better. It really makes it tough to have a conversation. I must say that my brother and I, whom I love but would be nothing without me, have taken over, and we're slapping ass all over the country. Everybody's into it. Everybody's having a great time. Rub it on your skin. It's time for our final thoughts on this edition of the Country Slaughterhouse. Some people want a fence around the border of Mexico, and now they've got it. But you know, other people wanted a concrete wall with ramparts at every 10 minute markers. We need to start doing some cool shit with this idea. Let's have executions on the weekend that go all medieval with spikes and catapults. Just like that Matt Damon flick, The Great Wall. The kind of wall that America needs. That's my kind of border security. It's the difference between being a pussy and being a pussy pounder. That's how I vote for my lawmakers, and I have yet to run into anyone who fits the bill. Trump thinks he's got it, but he let go of the wheel right in the middle of doing sweet donuts in the parking lot, and now he's sitting there winded with no streaks to show this is the cow man consummate pussy pounder signing off chill out chicago
in Bucktown, you gotta get down. 